In the previous video, we saw how to install Ubuntu on a system with Windows 11. In this series of videos, we will first dual boot Fedora alongside Windows 11. After that, we will configure and customize the OS for improving its behavior and aesthetics, during which we will initially look into the concepts of granting root privileges for the users, Linux package management systems and package repositories. Then we will have a look at different desktop environments, themes, extensions and tiling systems available for the GNOME and Cinnamon DAs. Okay, let's get started. So like Ubuntu, Fedora is also released twice a year, once in April and once in October without two one year support. However, unlike Ubuntu, there is no long term support version for Fedora. So to download the Fedora distribution, head over to fedoraproject.org, find the Fedora workstation version and click on download now. Here we have multiple options based on the CPU type. Generally, your system may have Intel or AMD chips, but recently ARM based Qualcomm laptops are available in the market. So choose the download option based on your CPU architecture. We need to make a bootable USB drive to install Fedora on the system. This can be done with the help of tools like Rufus or Bellinature. So download either of these tools. I will get a copy of Bellinature. After downloading, installing HR is very easy. Double clicking the downloaded file will automatically install it, generate a shortcut and will start the application. Now let's flash Fedora onto a USB drive. As we have seen while downloading, the Fedora ISO file is around 2.5 GB in size. So take an empty USB drive of at least 4 GB capacity and insert it into your system. In the Bellina HR application, click on the flash from file option and select the downloaded Fedora ISO file. Then select the target device which is the empty USB drive. After that click on flash. This will take some time. Meanwhile let's make some space for the Fedora OS. Go to the disk management utility. Right click on the windows partition and select shrink volume. If you have only windows C drive as the main partition. In the last video I shrinked it and installed Ubuntu on a 450 GB partition. Now I will delete that and use it to install Fedora. So after the flashing is done while the bootable USB drive is still attached, restart your system. But before the windows loader appears, enter the boot menu by pressing the corresponding function key for your system. For my system it is F8. Uh, once you are in the boot menu, you should be seeing your USB drive as an option to boot. Select it and press enter to boot into it. So we have shrunk our windows partition earlier with uh, disk management utility. Now let's check the free space here using the disks application. Note the name of the disk. In my case, it is WD Black. Connect to internet. Click on the install to hard drive icon. Select language. Choose the disk where we made the free space earlier. WD Black in my case. If you don't want to create any manual partitions, select automatic installation. In this video, we will see how to manually create partitions and set mount points. For that, select advanced custom option and create partitions. First, we will set boot EFI mount point on the existing EFI partition. Then in the free space, we will first create a small ext4 partition of 1 GB to store all boot files. And set the mount point to slash boot. 
After that, we will create a 150 GB better FS partition for root and set the mount point as slash. Forward slash denotes root. Root is where all the system files are stored. If you have less space, alert 50 GB the root partition and rest for the home partition. Create a final better FS partition with the rest of the empty space and set the mount point as slash home. This is the partition where all your files are stored. And then start the installation. So when you do a fresh install of Fedora, you can leave the home partition and just format the root and boot partitions. Once the OS is installed, restart the system. You will be greeted with a grub bootloader instead of the Windows bootloader. Grub bootloader allows you to select between the existing operating systems. So select Fedora. You can use up and down arrow keys to navigate through the list and then press enter. Set up username and password and start using Fedora. So after installing Fedora with the live USB drive, you may want to reuse your USB drive. So let's restore it by formatting the USB drive using the disk app in Fedora. You can test by creating a file or directory and checking it back in Windows. This section is only if you want to uninstall Fedora from your system. So oh, first restart your system and enter BIOS by selecting UVFI firmware settings in the GRUB. Go to boot options and change the first boot option to Windows Boot Manager instead of Fedora. Save the settings and exit. This time you will not see the GRUB menu and you will directly boot into Windows. Once booted, open the disk management utility and delete the three partitions we have created. Boot, root and home. Leave the EFI partition as such. That's all. Fedora is now deleted from your system. In the next video, we will see how to configure our Linux installation.